Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today we're going to be swatching out some Kiko lipsticks. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you're into eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice, and getting the use out of your makeup the way that I am, then definitely stay tuned because I think this video may be right up your street. I am going to be talking you through 10 shades from the Kiko lipstick line. And of course I can't put them all up in one go, but there, there you have it. I thought it would be fun to try 10 Kiko lipsticks that I haven't tried before that sort of range the entire Kiko lipstick line so that we have a little bit of every different formula that they have on offer so that I can get a feel for what is actually good. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I have been loving my Velvet Passion lipstick in 315 Mauve quite a bit from Kiko. And I was like, you know what? Kiko does some good lipstick. And if they're doing a good deal, I definitely want to try more. Uh, and I thought that this way I can take you along for the ride. And in case you are unfamiliar with my content, it may be good to know that I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone and that greatly skews my makeup preferences. And because I've been buying, trying and reviewing makeup for more than a decade, I also have some very strong favorites. So if you'd like to stay tuned for the ride, subscribe to the channel if you want to join the Snow Angel Club. I already mentioned 315 as being one of my favorites. I already have a dedicated review up of this lipstick together with two of the other shades that I had from this line, but those weren't perfect for me, but 315 has been a longstanding favorite. I will just link you down below to the review I already have up with this lipstick because you can just have a look at what it looks like on. But I think that for comparison to some of these other things, this is a good one. And I get so many questions from people like what is a good, cool toned lipstick and I would say this. This is from Kiko. It's their Velvet Passion in 315 Mauve and as you can see it's a really nice sort of mauve cool toned leaning with a plum undertone nude lipstick and this is actually really nice. Another thing I won't be featuring because I already showed it in my full face of Kiko that I did at the start of December I think and it's one of their holiday lipsticks. This is their um, no, this is not the one. I put this one on. Uh, this is the Joyful Holiday Sparkling Lipstick. And this is the one that I put on in that video. I just wanted to try this. It's like a metallic-y kind of vibe and it just has a bit more shine than most lipsticks. But yeah, I'm already wearing that in the other video. So again, let me just do a quick swatch right here as well so you can see what that shade looks like. It's not as metallic as I'd like it to be. Like for a sparkly lipstick, I mean, it just looks really pretty for sure. So yeah, I have... 10 other lipsticks to do put on my lips today, which is a lot. So let me just get cracking. Now, I'm not entirely sure anymore from swatching these the first time around, which one of these is the sheerest, um, because from some of these I have multiple colors, just so that we would have 10 things to talk about. And one thing I love about Kiko lipstick is their packaging. They are definitely inspired by more high-end things. This is the Gossamer Emotion lipstick. This is the shade 132. I will make sure to look up the names on the website because Kiko doesn't put lipstick names, only the numbers on all of their packaging. So I never know what something is called, but just know that this is 132 and I'll put the name in the description box down below. And this has a little button here and then it pops out. Like that's something you usually find in like Chanel lipsticks or whatever. And then you just have the component like that. And this looks like a pretty intense lipstick, but I remember like the first four or five I have for you are all quite sheer um, and a little bit more hydrating. So this is the Gossamer Emotion. So let me put this on the back of my hand. Oh, it's not as sheer as I thought it was going to be. And it's like a warmish rosy pink. Not something I normally go for, but let me see if this looks nice on. And this is what that lipstick looks like. This is Gossamer Emotion 132 by Kiko. And this is not my favorite shade of lipstick. It's a little bit too warm for me, especially in the undertone. Like I love the overall shade, but it just has a little bit of warmth that I feel doesn't really go with my coloring. Um, it clashes a little bit. However, this does remind me of some of my other like all time favorite lipstick shades. And I think a lot of the lines from Kiko can actually dupe out or get really close to Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And this, I think, is a stunning lipstick. Maybe not the best for my undertone, but formula-wise, this feels super comfortable on the lips. I like that little bit of shine. 
I haven't worn this yet for an entire day, um, so I do, I do not know how this is gonna wear, but I don't mind touching up a lipstick throughout the day. Then we have another lipstick here, which has similar packaging, it's just a little lighter, um, but the, the tube works the same way. You click it and then it pops open. This is the Glossy Dream Lipstick in shade 218. Again, the shade name will be down below. And I think this looks similar. I went with like, I don't know, like from the website, it's very difficult to tell what might be good. So let me just swatch it underneath it. Ooh, this is like a gloss, but in a stick form. And it's again, like it's a bit more orange than I had expected for sure. Um, but that can be pretty as well, but it definitely has more shine than the Gossamer Dream. So this is again, the Glossy Dream lipstick. I don't, I don't think this looks anything like it when I put it on my lips. On my lips, it pulls a lot more cool toned and it's really pretty. It's sheer but buildable. So again, formula wise, this very much reminds me of Elisa Eldritch lipstick. Let me grab the shade because I've got it sitting right here. It definitely reminds me a bit of Painterly. Maybe Painterly is more like the other one. Uh, let me swatch, shall I swatch these next to it? Oh yeah, for sure. So I always feel that in a swatch, Painterly and Sp Spirited Away, this is Spirited Away, this is Painterly, look very similar, but on the lips they do look differently, I feel. And you can just see, like this is a more intense video version of Spirited Away, but look at that. This, this shade, I mean, this is Painterly from Lisa Eldridge, and that's just, this is Kiko Glossy Dream in 218. It's got a bit more shine, the Kiko one does, but I, like I said, I was predicting there would be Lisa Eldridge dupes in this lineup. Moving on to another shade from Kiko's uh, lipstick line, but this is again in different packaging. This is just your standard like bullet, but it does again have that little emblem. Like these feel so much more luxurious than a drugstore lipstick that, than you might expect, you could say. Um, what I don't like about this is that it's fully rounded on both edges, so you can't really stand it up straight unless you have like a lipstick holder or whatever, but it, it's better lying down. This is the Jelly Stilo in shade 515. And if the sticker is anything to go by, this is a very dark shade and it is. It seems to be like a plum, but I remember from looking at this online that it is not this intense, uh, that again, it's more of a shiny sheer formula. So let me swatch it. Ooh, that's interesting. It's like a cool tone brownie plum, but again, sheer and shiny. This is Meet Me in Berlin from Lisa Eldridge. Shall we just go for it again? Oh no, the Lisa Eldritch one has more warmth. Um, but again, like similar kind of formula, it seems. Do I have anything else that's a bit deeper? No. I don't have the deepest one, like the Nights Out shade, I think it was called. I don't have that one from Lisa Eldritch. It's been out of stock, but yeah, you can just see that formula wise, these just look very similarly. Not the same shade though. The Lisa has more rosiness to it almost. This is more plummy brown. Let me try it. So there is that shade and this, there's something about it that I love and there's something about it that I really don't like at all. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm getting this ring, red ring of death around my mouth and that usually happens if a color is too much of a clash between my natural lip color and um, like the lipsticks itself. But I did go in with multiple layers and I actually think that if I take a bit of tissue and I blot it down, like take most of it off, ooh, like this, like if it's more of a stain, let me try putting on a little bit more, but going with the like this, that I do like. And this, it's a really interesting shade. It's like almost a mahogany. It does have some warmth to it. It's got that like brown undertone, but then it has the purple as well. So it's like a cool tone brown. And I love that sometimes with certain looks, especially if I'm not wearing a lot on my eyes then something like this can be really pretty, but I do think this is one where I need to be very careful with how much I actually put on. But yeah, this is a really nice one. Another Kiko lipstick that I have here for you is the Hydra Shiny Lip Stilo. Like I said, we're t kicking things off with all the hydrating shiny things and they seem to have quite a lot. This is the shade six 
And this is again that sort of like rosy warm tone. I think that what, what I was going for with this was that I thought it could look like Velvet Muse from Lisa Eldridge, but that is a matte. So we'll see if this works. This is hydrating apparently and shiny. So I'm not sure if it's gonna look anything like that. That is pretty. Like I definitely went with a very similar vibe here, but do you just, oh, that's pretty. And you know, now that I'm swatching it on the back of my hand, it's really reminding me of something like Velvet Blush or Blush Lightly. I think it's more like Blush Lightly. They look pretty similar in the bullet. So let me swatch Blush Lightly next to it. Ooh, Blush Lightly is a bit more cool toned than that. But do you just see that it has the same level of depth? So I definitely think these could give you the same vibe once you put them on the lips. So this is the Lisa Eldritch in Blush Lightly. This is the Kiko one. This is what it looks like on, and yeah, now that it's on, I'm like, yes, definitely. Velvet Muse vibes all over. And this is a heavier formula than the other ones I showed you so far. Those were all very lightweight. They slide on very easily. This feels almost a little sticky going on. Like, it's sticky is not the right word, but it's like sort of giving me this... Uh, it's not even tacky on. It's just it, there's a bit of a tug when you put it on. That's what I was trying to say. But this is really pretty. It's like if you put a gloss over something like Velvet Blush Lightly or Velvet Muse for sure, it's definitely giving me that vibe. It's perhaps a little bit deeper than indeed Velvet Muse would be, but I think you can again uh, take a tissue and tone it down. Ooh. And then a formula that I bought two of because I was very interested in this one. Uh, this is the Unlimited Stilo. Um, this is, I believe, a newer formula that they've just come out with. I have number seven and number 22. So this is what number seven looks like. And I've actually heard people say that they don't like this. So we'll see. Um, like that the formula isn't that great. Oh, this is like pretty warm. It's pretty brown, a lot more brown tone than I had expected, perhaps. So this is just a bit too brown, a bit too orange for me. I don't love this on me. Uh, I was hoping it had more pink. And what I do like about this is that the bullet is a little bit rounded, so it makes for very easy application. So I do like that. It's a little bit of a skinnier type of lipstick. It again has those rounded edges on the packaging. Again, the packaging of this looks, looks absolutely stunning, but I hope shade 22 will be better for me. This, I mean, it's not offensive. Like if I look at it in the viewfinder, I think it goes pretty well with my hair color. It does go with that. And I think that if I were to do like a warmer eye and a warmer cheek, that it can definitely work but I would have to warm up my face quite a bit for this to look nice. But if the longer I look at it, the nicer I feel it is because it does have that rosiness coming through. So I do like this. So this is what Velvet Affair looks like next to it. That's not my favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick. Oh yes. Oh my. I mean, the, the ultimate stilo has a bit more shine, but this is what Velvet Affair looks like next to it. It's like almost identical almost identical. Now it's time for shade 22. This is again the ultimate stilo and this seems to be more of a rosy shade. So I think I like this better on me. It seems to be like a deeper mauve. I think it was also like the shade name was something mauve in it. So let me swatch it here. Ooh. Ooh, it looks almost purple next to all this warmth. Um, but that looks stunning and it's like a deeper version of the 315 mauve shade and this has a very nice rich creamy formula So if you don't love a matte lipstick, but you like something that's a bit more satin then these ultimate stilos may be nice Now this this is what I want Lisa Eldridge to come out with this is uh, like I said the ultimate stilo in shade 22 I put this on and it instantly makes me happy. I like mauve lipstick, I just love and I swear by it. Um, the one reason why I don't wear the other Kiko one that I already owned quite a bit is because it is quite light, but this has a bit more depth and this is stunning. It's a really cool, like plummy mauve with a bit of depth. This can look, this is one of those great, like throw it on and you're done kind of lipsticks. I'm really glad I got this one.
could be one of my new favorites. Like it's only just the start of 2023 and I've already found a lipstick that I'm like, I would like to wear this every single day, please. Also, by the way, I, I'm not noticing any scents very strongly with any of these. I thought that maybe with Kiko lipsticks, like some brands, like they put vanilla or cookie dough or floral scents in their lipsticks. And these don't have a very strong particular st scent that really stands out to me. I'm not noticing anything that really irks me. And then I have this holiday lipstick. This is another Hydro Hydra thing. This is the Joyful Holiday Hydra Desire Lip Stilo. And I'm swatching this right now before I swatch the mattes because those will be the most intense. And I'm predicting this to be like a sheer red. That's what I'm hoping this is going to be. Like a sheer-ish red. Ooh. That, that is pretty. Like I'm not a huge lover of shiny reds, but as far as shiny reds go, that could be a nice one. So let me put it on. I really love this one too. I mean, this is such a good red. On my lips, it pulls a little bit plummy. It has this like raspberry rich pinky red to it, which I really love. Like, it's not like a vibrant pinky red where it's like more strawberry leaning. It's more like crushed up raspberries. I really, really like this. This is definitely more of a unique red for me as well in my collection. Like I have a bunch of reds. So for me, red lipstick is usually not that exciting, but this is really lovely. And this is again, that sort of richer, creamier formula. This is one where I'm gonna suspect that it's gonna slide around and it's gonna disappear quickly. But this, like the pigment is great and it goes on and there, there's that hint of shine. Like this is the kind of thing that I wanted those Maybelline vinyl ink lipsticks to do that I showed you last month. But th this, mm, so pretty, I love this. Kiko is doing a great, now I want their entire line. Oh well, don't have the budget for that. But yeah, I do love all of these I've tried so far, save for like some of these like brownie things that I don't love necessarily, but I think I can make most of it work. So, so far, so good. We just have some mattes left. The Velvet Passion lipsticks, this packaging is my favorite. It has this magnetic closure. Let, look at that, it just pops up and then it just closes like that. It's really nice. This is their shade in 312, and it's a classic vampy red. This, is, this seems to be a bit orange tone though. Oh. Look at that. I don't think that's gonna swap, no. This is more velvet ribbon vibes. It's very blue toned. It looks very warm tone in the bullet, but then in the swatch, it pulls very blue. Let me grab my Velvet Ribbon. Velvet Ribbon is usually like much brighter than any other reds I have. So let me swatch it right here. Oh no, it's a dupe. That's Velvet Ribbon. Look at that, it's, it's the same shade, you guys. I thought I didn't have, I've never seen brands do a red as vibrant as Velvet Ribbon, but Kiko does it in their Velvet Passion range. This is 312. I'll look up the shade name for you. That, that, This shade makes me happy, yes. Mm, this is so, so good. Yeah, this, uh, thank you, Kiko. I love this, this, this shade. Mm, I, I, I have found my best favorite drugstore red lip of all time. The problem with reds in a lip swatch video is that your lip line is completely gone. So yeah, if I can no longer put these on nicely anymore, then we, you know what's going on. And I was thinking, could that be a dupe? So let me swatch it. I need to put it somewhere else though. Ah, it's not spot on. That's the Velvet Cinnabar one from Lisa Eldridge. It has more brown. The Kiko one is just a bit more orange. So I'm suspecting this can actually be more similar to something like Max Chili. I love this. And this is definitely giving me Velvet Cinnabar vibes now that I'm wearing it. It has that like depth, but then that orange at the same time. I do think it is less brown, like it looks in the swatch. Uh, so this is the Kiko one, that's the Lisa Eldridge one. So I definitely think it does have less brown, but that's why it's better for me, because I don't love something that's overly brown, but these kind of things in the fall time, or also like if you have a more yellow undertone to your skin. This is absolutely stunning. 
And it may actually work better for you than, you know, something as vibrant as the blue tone one that I just showed you. And finally, number 318, and this was called, I think, wine or burgundy or something. Oh, this is definitely more of a berry than a red. It's like if you were to mix Velvet Myth and Velvet Midnight, you get Kiko's 318. Um, so I'm very curious to see what this will look like um, because it very much intrigued me and I haven't tried a good drugstore deeper vampy shade in a long time. So I'm definitely due an upgrade. So let me see because I know I love this formula. That is very stunning. If I just judge this lipstick by itself and not thinking of it, is it a dupe? Um, I'm thinking this lipstick is a really stunning one. Um, it looks really pretty. Um, like swatching 10 of these is quite a feat. I do have to say though that the Velvet Passion lipsticks have a thinner formula than the Lisa Eldritch one. I feel they need two or three layers to go on opaque, whereas the Lisa Eldritch one, it's one swipe and you get the pigment right there. Um, but I love this formula. It's still very rich and creamy, comfortable to wear as well. And I, there's really something about this. I should wear shades like this more often because I like it. It's got a lot of purple running through it though. So if you don't have a cool undertone, you may not like it because on me, I feel in the viewfinder, especially if I look at it in real life, it's more that plummy sort of, I just drank a really nice glass of Merlot kind of thing. But in the viewfinder, it definitely pulls a bit more red. I think these 10 lipsticks from Kiko are a great addition to my makeup collection. I think I can now just go with Kiko lipstick and I'm good to go. Like I've got all the shades I need, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I think I showed you a good array here of all of the different formulas that Kiko has to offer. So I hope this video was helpful. If you're into like trying some Kiko, of course, they have many more shades in some of these, but I do think that some of their lines are being discontinued and being replaced with other lines. So I'm not entirely sure whether uh, what, what the line is going to look like now that it's 2023. I got these over the Black Friday sale period um, because they were doing a really good deal on their website. And they do also sell glosses, but those were all out of stock when I tried to place my order. So I would definitely try some Kiko glosses as well. So if you have any recommendations for those, then I would be very chuffed to know about them, especially now that I've tried all these different lipstick formulas and they feel incredible. Like there's not a single dud here, save for maybe a shade that I'm not really into, but these are some lovely lipsticks. Kiko does sales very, very often. I think they did a good job here. So thank you to Kiko for making so many lovely lipsticks. Thank you for watching today. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I will be showing you my entire lipstick collection at the start of February, because I'm gonna be doing like a makeup inventory kind of thing where I'm gonna be swatching out a lot of my makeup in preparation for my decluttering series, which I'm gonna be doing in March, so that you can first see everything and we can do all the comparison swatches, and then the declutter is just going to me, me, be me deciding whether I wanna keep something. That's what you can still expect from me coming up for sure. Thank you so very much for being here. I hope you have a great day, take care, and I hope to see my next video. Bye-bye.